do you get a stuck while making a sentence in english or do you feel very nervous and clueless when someone says you to make a sentence or a paragraph in english or do you feel very hesitant while typing a message in english if yes then you have come across the right video because this video is going to be very helpful for you because here i will tell you how to make sentence in english but before that if you are new at our channel make sure to like our videos and subscribe our channel so hello everyone welcome back to the hari sir academy this is amita and it is my third day of the 75 hard days english challenge today i will talk about an another problem and try to give you a solution of that problem in last two videos i talked about how to overcome the fear of speaking and what is the right way of learning new vocabularies and remembering them and if you didn't take the advantage of those videos you can watch it right now so let's get started guys first of all we need to understand that we need words to make a sentence and we need to arrange those words in a right manner to create a meaningful sentence and for speaking english we need to make sentences and if you are a beginner first of all we need to learn the basic or simple sentences so the mistake we do is we do not try to learn those simple sentences instead of that we directly try to make long sentences and lengthy paragraphs for example when we try to make our presentation or speech or we try to write an answer in english that time we realize that we are not able to make a sentence properly we are not able to put the sentence together in a right manner to give it a meaning this is because we never practice to make simple sentences because in our society we think that if a person is speaking complex sentences he is making difficult sentences then he is cool and intelligent but this is mistake if you are a beginner you should avoid this mistake you should start with simple sentences so what is the solution the first solution is try to make simple sentences look in your day to day life the activities whatever you do just try to speak those things in simple sentences try to make simple sentences whatever activities you, you do in your day to day life try to convert those things in english in simple words and in simple sentences for example i study this is for present tense and in past you can say i study and for future you can say i will study you can say i write i wrote and i will write i walk i walked and i will walk so these are the simple sentences that you can use in your day to day life and i as i already gave you a point that in my previous video that you should speak in front of mirror you can practice to speak these small sentences in front of mirror and the second solution is try to break down complex sentences into a smaller one for example meri mummy mere bhai se daily subah mein jhadu lagwati hai do not try to translate because this is very complex sentence try to break it down you can say my brother brooms floor every morning or meri mummy ne kal mujhse sare bartan dhulwaye it is also a complex sentence for a beginner do not try to translate it as well try to break it down into a small sentence you can say i scrubbed all the utensils yesterday so guys the third solution is we need to learn how to make these sentence in all tense do you know what is tense for most of the people tense means tension because it gives them lots of headache but i am assuring you guys our method of teaching tense will not give you any kind of headache rather your concept will get clear so basically we have three tenses present tense past tense and future tense and it is very simple to make sentence in all these three tenses we need two things person and action so basically in grammar we have three person i you he and she and the second thing is action action means activities or grammatically we call it verb whether you call it verb activity or action all these things are similar so for example if you want to say a sentence in present we need i plus action you can say i laugh for you you laugh and for she she laughs and for past tense we need person plus second form of action for example i laughed you laughed and she laughed and for future tense we need person plus will plus action for example i will laugh you will laugh and she will laugh and guys if you want to know more about tense you can check out our playlist 
named topics of grammar there we have talked about each and every tense and if you want to learn how to make these sentences in each and every tense do check out our playlist so these were the three solutions with the help of which you can create sentences in english so guys that's it for today if you find our video useful like our video and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to share our video with your family members and with your friends because it encourages us to create more such informative videos for you so thank you so much for watching our video we will meet in next session till then bye bye and take care